In this lesson, I will show you how to create complex roof geometry without need to go to massing creation tool. I will, I will use floor modifiers in order to achieve such effect. First, I will reset this shape and start from scratch. So basically, I have drawn a floor uh, on a roof level, walls and curtain windows. I have also prepared two planes and gave them a name, D1 and D2. They will be useful in the next steps. I will model a structural beam system now on D2 plane. They will be in a fixed distance spacing. Now, when beams are drawn in an equal spacing, I will remove grouping of these elements. So now there are single instances. I change elevation of every second beam and move it to the second plane, T1. Now I select floors and use pick supporters option. It is the fastest way in my opinion to create such geometry, such roof. I will fix the edges by entering lower values on its points using modify sub elements tool. I will enter value min minus 150. Don't worry about this warning that uh, came up from time to time on the screen. They, they are concerning mullion of curtain walls. In the next step, I will add additional points in the middle of each segment, so the geometry will be even more attractive. I want my roof to be sloped, so I will have to change the height of the selected points, which are over the beams and make it minus 90 on one of the roof edges. Warnings will be coming up, but uh, don't worry about them. They're just telling me about uh, roof curtain wall mullions. Once I'm finished with uh, creating geometry, I can actually delete these beams as they were only assisting us during modeling. And the geometry stays in place once they are removed. I will mirror the roof now. The geometry of roof, roof is kept mm, and maybe added boundary of this second roof a bit. And here we go. We have an amazing geometry in just a couple minutes. I hope you will find it useful in your daily projects.